Hi, everyone. In this occasion, I will explain to you a little bit of this article titled Design and Simulation of Microfluidity Device for Metabolic Screening and Quantitative Monitoring of Drug Uptake in Cancer Cells. Well, as you could see in the title, the main objective of this work is to design and fabric fabricate a microfluidity device to quantitatively monitor the drug uptake of cancer cells. In this in this experiment, the authors designed two microfluidic devices, and and the design was was proposed considering some characteristics. At the first, the first proposed design has a long channel connected with a small one, which it helps to to mix the two fluids in the long channel, as you will see in the next. In the next page, and the other design, it has two separate compartments for both the drug and the media, and it it was a multi-layer microfluidic device, and they were they were designed making by PDMS molds and also using soft photo, soft lithography. Well, this. in the materials and method, it's important to mention that the basic working principle of this. For devices is the hydrodynamic diffusion, diffusion, and at first you can see here the mesh geometry of the device one, and as I mentioned before, this is a the long channel and this is a shorter one, and the second device this is the multi layer because this is the first layer and this is the second one layer. Well, how these devices mm -hmm. perform some. Here in the long channel is injected this cancer cells were injected. And then in the second, in the in second layer, the second channel, it was injected. It was it was injected the cancer cells. And here in this other channel, in the other channel, the the drug was you know, the drug was injected. And in this case, the drug was injected here in this above layer. In the Upper layer, sorry. This is for the device two. And well, at first you define the the geometry or at first to the design of these two devices. Here it shows the flow diagram. So first they consider the optimal geometry means the length, the height, and the width, and the width of the channels, and then they use this console software for the simulation of the of the fluid. Also, they consider the physics, the physical parameters, such as concentration, velocity, and diffusion constants of the fluids. And finally, they they, they did a mass design on the CAT tool they using. They use Adobe Illustrator. And, and finally, the microfabrication using photo lithography techniques. After this process, they Proceed with the cell culture and differentiation. Finally, after all the the experiments, they use as they did the results of the situation. As a conclusion, here is it's important to mention that the authors conclude that the the first design is, has better performance than the the second one. And I will show you here the, I will explain you here the design, this, this image, this graphic shows the design of concentration and velocity profiles of the fluid for device one. As I mentioned before, here was the, this cancer cells. And as you can see here, there is a high concentration of the drug. And here there is the interaction of drug with the cells. And then in the other, the other device, the, here the design of velocity profile. As you can see here, it's the distribution is very different because here, uh, remember that here is the injection of the drug, and the drug is concentrated in the middle of the channel. Uh, however, there, there are some, uh, this part is less concentrated because of the drug is not uniformly distributed. As you know, the boundaries represent. Um, well, here in the boundaries, there, there are, are cohesion. 
and for the with them with the drug due to the drug and that's why it's not uniformly and uniformly distributed and also the authors consider that the first one design is better because it's less cost as you can see there here there are two layers and because the the first one helps to improve the layer surface area for culturing more, more cells and also for higher cells drug interaction, as you can see here. And those those are the results and also the conclusion of the of this experiment. So if you want to know more, you can you can check this article on the folder about paper. That's all. Thank you.